thank you very much. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, okay, good. Uh, right, yes, thanks. Uh, yeah, th this uh, is, uh, in contrast, this is a very descriptive paper. Uh, and basically, it's uh, looking at uh, another aspect of labour market experience from the indicators available in the labour force survey. Um, the less well known is the data that were published in the M16 publication, which is under an over employment rates. Um, there was a paper published in 2010 which explained how these were calculated from. Uh, the LFS variables we'll come to later. Um, the, these are a measure of uh, how uh, people you know, work more or less than they, uh, than, than they really desire. Um, they're only published by ONS in terms of a headline totals from uh, 2002 for every quarter, from every 2002 onwards but it is possible to produce more detailed information uh, from the LFS using the, uh, by applying the code that uh, ONS provided to, uh, provided to me, uh, for which they used for calculating these variables, and that's why I'm sort of going to present. Um, so the idea is to produce a, a richer picture of the, the labour market, try to see if they can use a richer picture of the labour market and uh, the show which the differences in labour market inclusion uh, for another aspect of labour market inclusion for different sections of the population. This slide just provides the, the, the background to the paper in terms of overall labour market participation rates. So this shows um, uh, the differences by uh, sex, of, uh, not, uh, just, uh, 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 between men, men and women uh, in terms of participation in the, the labour force. Uh, the, um, so the top uh, chart is the uh, participation rates by men and female in the labour market. Uh, so a slow increase in participation for 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 women in the labour market, uh, a slow increase in the overall employment, economic activity rate, um, and the, the effect of the the the, the, de the decline in unemployment rates uh, uh, after oh, from 1992 onwards until the financial crisis and then COVID, um, the, uh, the employment rates. Uh, I should say, not the unemployment rate. Labour market differentials have been narrow between uh, men and women have been narrowing over that period as uh, female economic participation rates increase and female employment rates increase. Uh, in, in contrast, the unemployment rates for women have were were lower than men, and uh, but they have increased over time. So. The uh, convergence for in unemployment rates has been uh, to the disadvantage of women. Um, yes, to talk about uh, underemployment rates, uh, unemployment rates uh, measures the degree of slack in the labour market. You know, you know, measuring the number of people not in employment who want to work and are seeking work. But this underestimates the level of extra capacity in the economy because some workers are not employed to their full potential. So that's uh, underemployment. It can be measured in a number of ways. The uh, number of people want to work more, time related, which is time related unemployment. The number of people who are working part time or would like a full time job. The number of people, percentage of people in professional, high status occupations, professional occupations and people working in jobs who don't match their educational level. Uh, I'm not going to con be concerned with the, the, those three, you're just concerned with time-related unemployment in this paper. Um, so, uh, as I say, the, the indicators are generated using data from the LFS for January, uh, to, for the quote, for January to March 2002 quarter onwards. Uh, until the, the, the same quarter of this year. Um, 
The M for, for information, the M16 publication for, from the ONS shows how these uh, indicators are, are created from the individual variables in the LFS and show the various components of underemployment, showing the number of people who, who want more work uh, and uh, want, who want to, who have got, are working more than they want to work. Um, so the um, number of unemployed was 2.3 million in January to March 2002, or 6.8% of all, of all those employed. It rose to a maximum of 3.9 million in January to March 2014, and then it uh, fell and then increased sharply during the COVID lockdowns, and then fall, uh, you're now falling to a current level of 2.1 million, or 2.6.4% of employment. In, contra uh, in contrast, overemployment is more constant. It's varied around 10% of those in employment throughout the period, uh, but was lowest in the period when unemployment was highest. 11.9 million in January to March 2002, and 9.7 million, or 8.4% of those employed in the, the January to March 2024. This uh, slide just demonstrates, you won't be able to read it, but the, di the diagram on the right comes from the M16 publication, so it gives you the numbers of people in each. Uh, each component of the calculation. Um, the paper was written by Walling and Clancy's in Labour Market Trends, um, and it's defining unemployment as underemployment. People, employed people who want to work more hours in either existing or an actual, additional work job are available to start in the next two weeks, and are working less than the threshold number of hours, which is 48 for those aged over 18 and 30 for those under 18. Um, the variables used to operationalise this were UNDEMP, UNDST, TOT hours, and UND hours. And so, as I, as I said, that uh, 2.8 million were underemployed in January to March 2024, and uh, 9.8 million overemployed in January to March 2024, using that calculation. Um, and this just shows how uh, the tr the, these two measures have, tr have changed over time. The top line is overemployment, the, the bottom line is underemployment. As I said, the uh, underemployment basically increased uh, throughout the 2010s and was high after the financial crisis, and remained high through most of the 2010s, then started to decline towards the later 2010s. Uh, and then shot up again during the COVID lockdown period, and has then since fallen back again. Um, the, tr the two diagrams on the right sort of show, the top one shows how the underemployment rate uh, relates to the unemployment rate. So it shows it's, uh, it, you know, it, this is a line drawn from uh, successive quarters from two to, uh, January to March 20, 2002 to two, January to March 2024, showing that there's basically a positive relationship with a slightly different trend in, uh, uh, in, the, in the, the lower level unemployment, underemployment in the period after 2014. The lower chart shows there's little relationship with the unemployment vacancy rates, just for information. Uh, now, this, this is just basically just going to show how over and un underemployment uh, varies by a range of demographic characteristics, and um, I'm contrasting age and sex here. So, basically, um, un underemployment was highest for young, young people and lowest for older people. So, it, it declines with age based, uh, over time uh, as age gets higher. Uh, one interesting, and it seems to be the same for both men and women. However, under, the rate of unemployment is higher for women in the middle age range, middle uh, from about 35 to 59. Uh, and um, the other thing, which you can't read, the chart is too busy, but you can see basically that it's also uh, charts contrast 
to 2012 to 2023. Um, the reason for these age, the, the dates chosen here is uh, try to um, later on go uh, look at ethnicity. So uh, the the it, it's taking a time period for uh, which the ethnicity variable was was uh, stable over that period. Um, the S U K S variable. Um, so um, the yes over over employment in contrast to underemployment the rate of uh, percentage of people overemployed working more hours than they want to increases with age until we reach about uh, retirement age um, and then it then it falls off again it, it's a small uh, uh, there is a slight difference uh, in, in, in gender uh, by, by sex uh, and again uh, the, the difference made by sex is higher in the middle age range uh, uh, and um, there's, uh, the under over employment is slightly lower in the, in the, in the 2020, 2024 than in um, 2023 sorry than in uh, 2012. Um, yep. Just looking at a quick uh, summary of geographical variation by broad region of the UK. Um, highest rates of unemployment. The rate underemployment fell in all parts of the UK. The London experienced the highest rates of underemployment, especially during the low COVID lockdowns. Lowest rates were in the southern and eastern England for most of the period. The Midlands experienced the lowest rate during the COVID period. Uh, Overemployment increased in, in the lower diagram. A rate of overemployment, in contrast, increased in most parts of the UK. And it was highest in the southern and eastern England and the Midlands. Um, the, um, Anyway, um, yes, there have been convergence in the 2020s. By ethnicity, this uh, uses the um, SUK variable to compare underemployment and overemployment by ethnic groups. Again, it compares males and females in 2012 and 2023. The percentage of unemployed was higher for men than women in most ethnic groups, uh, and it was highest for Bangladeshi, other Asian and black people. In 2023, black and Pakistani people displayed the highest rates. So um, this is a demonstration of how the unemployment rate can be used to supplement measures like economic activity rate and uh, unemployment rate to indicate uh, labour market exclusion by ethnic group. So, for example, you know, it shows the, the, uh, the, the, the ability of people to access the, the amount of work they want to, the variation by ethnic group. In so, the percentage overemployed, in contrast, was highest for Chinese, other Asian and white people. Um, the Chinese and white ethnic groups women were more likely than men to be overemployed. Um, this increased between 2012 and 2023 for Chinese women, um, but uh, not for Indian and black women. Just moving on to educational, right, okay, I should be finished. Uh, uh, ed highest educational qualifications. Uh, uh, the percentage underemployed is highest for people with other, inc uh, including foreign educational qualifications, lowest for those with degrees or better as the highest education. Those with no qualifications but in the middle of the range. Decline in percentage underemployed over the period was smallest for those with degrees and higher education qualifications. Percentage overemployed, is, in contrast, is highest for those with the best educational qualifications and so it was increasing during the 90, uh, 2010s before falling off. Um, 
the sum of conversions in rates by the end of the period, mostly due to the, uh, the falling percentages, are best qualified. Uh, let's move on to nine occupation. Uh, just contrasting by occupation groups. Um, underemployment rates uh, just vary, it seems to vary with the with, with the, the, the hierarchy of occupation standard hierarchy of occupations being lowest for the, the SOC one to three, SOC SOC one to four, the highest for um, the for the sales customer service and elementary occupations. The, the, the underemployment rate was more than five times higher in lower status occupations, higher status occupations in 2012, but that has nar differential narrowed slightly by 2023. The percentage, over the percentage over occupied, in contrast, was highest for higher status occupations and lowest for uh, late, late elementary and sales and show, so customer service occupations. So, you know, that is, that is you know, people aren't working longer hours than they desire. Um, Overemployment high, markedly higher for women than men, for managers and directors in 2012, another, uh, right, so just another, another uh, also associate professional administrative and secretarial and sales and customer service occupations. So just to conclude, um, the, con concept of, the, the concept of under, over and under, over and under employment provide an additional perspective on late inclusion into the labour market for different sections of the population. Um, and using this code from ONS, you can apply that to the microdata from the LFS to look at different sections of the population. Um, together with unemployment <coughs> and economic activity, they used to uh, see the extent to which people from different sections of the population can access the type of amount of work they want to do, whether they're less than or more than, so uh, under, unable to get, get the work they want to do or you know, maybe over, over exploited. Um, so the, the, it's similar to the unemployment rates and the low participation rates, but they add sort of richness to the explanation. Um, so I would say that unemployment rates then can understate, understate the deficit or advantage experienced by a section of the population. Overemployment is a more complex indicator which builds different patterns by section of the labour force. Uh, it, could, it could be voluntary, but it could also be represent uh, low, something up the lower productivity in work uh, or the need to work long, low, work, low, low wages uh, representing the necessity to work longer hours to achieve uh, desi the desired level of income. Uh, and that's, about, that's the end. Okay.